Okay, this is going to be a walkthrough of my cutting and building process for the FT Spitfire. Um, right now I'm cutting out the wing. Um, I used a A2 sheet that's got two folded flaps of presentation board. Um, I used the pre-scored lines for one of the lines on the wing on both sides. There we go, it's the wing cut out now. Um, I'm not showing the second one because, well, it's the same. Now I'm busy working on the fuselage. Um, a fuselage, I didn't have a two sheet, oh, sorry, a one sheet of foam board, so I used a two sheet, and the fuselage doesn't fit. So what it did is you'll see here, you see those two tabs at the back, which keeps changing sides. Um, those are going to be extended. I've staggered the joints uh, for the tail assembly. Uh, that way I can make the extensions and it should be pretty rigid. So it's all cut out with my X-Acto knife. It takes a while. Um, and then pulled all the foam and get it all ready for all the B-style bends. Um, right now I'm just pulling out the foam. There we go. Checking everything's bending. I use a barbecue skirt to just scrape the foam out. Okay, now I'm going to assemble the wing. Um, the wing was glued as per flight test, squeegeed on the top, taped on the bottom. Um, it went together really well. Uh, quite a simple build. Okay, now I've got the tail extensions there. Um, but first, I'm going to build my power pod. Now, I couldn't remember how to do this properly, so I went on the internet. Then my laptop is there with all my stuff on top of it. Um, went onto the flight test site and pulled that video and quickly watched it. So, there's my power pod almost done. Okay, now I'm building the fuselage. What I'm going to do is I uh, did the bends and the glues, I uh, glued it into shape, and then where you score for the tail assembly, um, I've made an extension there. Okay, um, just checking squareness. Now I'm going to add these pieces on the back, they glued them quickly. Um, I lost the one piece, well I thought I lost it, so I'm just going to glue the tail quickly. Okay, tail's glued. Now the rear bottom plate there, I thought I had cut, but I hadn't. I'm busy looking for it in my bin. Um, I couldn't seem to find it, so I pulled an old piece of foam board I had laying around eventually. Um, and I cut it out. There we go. And then I glued it in, squeegeed it, got some surface tension. And that's it all glued in. Okay, and then I stuck in all my formers for the turtle deck. And I test fitted my tail. Sanded down my formers a bit, they were a bit wide. Seems a bit strange to me, but anyway. Um, and then I cocked up the front a bit, so I fixed that. And then I fitted my wing. Uh, wing glued exactly the same as flight test did theirs, or Dave and uh, Bixler did theirs. And then I glued my tail on, checked it was all square. And then glued in my tail assembly. Um, now I'm adding in my servos. I've made a few mistakes there, but the servos are in and they work. Okay. Uh, making up servo extensions as well because I didn't have any. And then I decided I'd give the turtle decks an attempt. Um, they didn't go so well. My card was a bit thick. But eventually I did get them right. Uh, trying to test fit. There we go. Um, and then cutting them again. Anyway guys, um, now I'm going to go over to the test flight part of this. And you can see exactly how it went. Oh. oh yeah, it has got um, over 100% thrust power to weight ratio, so let's see what it does. That's how I land, guys. Okay, that was the maiden. Um, I want to give it... It seems to be very wobbly in there. Okay, there's a bit of wind, so it's acceptable. But wow, that is awesome. 